evening everybody happy vlogmas day 12 i cannot believe that we're halfway there already where is time going i mean i still actually can't believe that we're in december but not only that we're halfway through vlogmas i'm having so much fun making these videos today though i have literally done nothing i mean i've worked obviously <laughs> but I have just sat in my jumper and my little cozy trousers all day and I just haven't picked up the camera I haven't done anything worth picking up the camera and I know the idea of vlogmas or just vlogging daily lives in general is to show you like what our lives are like but there was just nothing like I literally did not move from the sofa except to get my Caesar salad for lunch because I was just working working and that was it so this is the first time i'm picking up the camera and it's already five o'clock so david's gonna be home soon he's gonna be like hey so what did you do for vlogmas today and i'm gonna be like absolutely nothing so i hope you have something that you want to share because i have come upstairs because david's last anniversary present came in so i would like to wrap that our anniversary is on sunday and i am in charge of planning it this year so last year david planned it and he planned it so well it was such a fun day we went to a drive through safari here in orlando and it was so cool and your ticket like let you go in as many times as you want so we actually did it twice and it was really fun and then we went and fed some giraffes after the safari and then for dinner that night we went and had dinner at the swan dolphin which obviously is where we met so very special to us and it was great so we decided that day that we would alternate so one year david will arrange everything and then the next year it'll be me and it's my turn and i cannot for the life of me find anything for us to do oh my moisturizer hanging out in there as well weird so i think i might have an idea now but it has taken me so long to even have an idea of what we can do and it, i just feel like it's not as good as what david did last year and i keep saying that to him and he's like it doesn't matter everything's fine and yeah it's just it's hard to plan things especially because it's a sunday so there's loads of things going on the day before on saturday but nothing apparently in orlando on the sunday also come upstairs because i finally got a frame for something that i'm going to be putting in the house this is the frame got it from amazon but this is what's going to go in the frame so when david and i were building our house we graffitied all over it so we like wrote messages in the walls on the stairs etc and what we did was we took a photo of the stairs before they became stairs when we had graffitied on them and printed it out if you can can you see this it says like c and d forever our wedding date and then welcome brady and nala and so i did get this idea from beth and jeff but and so i'm going to frame this and we're going to hang it above the stairs above the stairs where this is written because i think that's just really cool that like we graffitied inside our house and now we live in it and obviously can't see any of it so i just thought that would be a fun idea but i've had this print for about two months and i just have not got framed so finally i bought a frame and that's what we're doing right now I will show you it once it's framed. Here it is. Don't know if you can see that because of the reflection, but all framed, ready to go on the wall. I'm going to ask David very nicely if when he gets home, he will put this up for us. And so if he is willing to, which I'm sure he will be, then I will record him putting that up. But I just think it would be really nice. We don't have anything hung up coming up the stairs yet. So I just think that this would be nice. Also, if you're wondering, where are you? You've been in here in a video before, but where exactly are you? I am in what will eventually, eventually, be our office room slash fan room. So most of you know, if you know David and I, that we are very big fans of 
Star Wars, Disney. <laughs> Star Wars, Disney. No, Star Wars, Disney, The Office, like, like TV shows and stuff. And so in our apartment, we had so many things just everywhere in the apartment of like artwork or popcorn buckets, Funko Pops, just things that we collect from the things that we love. But it just looked very not put together. And so when we bought the house, we decided that we would just have one room in the house where everything from like the fan bases and stuff were in that room. So it's our office room slash fan room because the walls are like covered in Star Wars art. I've got shelves that have like all the Funko Pops on them. But also, as you can see in this corner, we still have things in boxes in here because we just don't really have anywhere to put them. Like we need to get some shelves and stuff like that. So this room is a work in progress. Everywhere else in the house is pretty much good, but this room is a work in progress. Eventually though, it will be an office slash fan room. But I did put a Christmas tree up in here, mainly because it was in this room taking up space. So I thought, why not have it up and taking up space over Christmas? So that's why we have a tree in this room. But also it's now the wrapping paper room. So this is where I come to wrap presents. Hi again, I am currently cooking dinner. Tonight I am making, oh, you're on the recipe, let's see. Chicken and green bell pepper fajitas. Interesting, thought they were tacos. I guess that's pretty similar. But that's what we are, or I am making with pico de gallo and lime creamer. David, not long got in from work. There he is, creeping in the background, where are you? And he did the sweetest thing. So the other day we were talking about if I had anything to wear to this Christmas cocktail party that we're going to on Saturday that my cousin is hosting. And I was like, no, haven't even thought about like what I would wear, blah, blah, blah. Anyway, so he brings in a package tonight and he's like, yeah, you have to open it. And I was like, is it a Christmas gift? Because if it is, I don't want to open it. He's like, no, it's not. And I open it this kind lovely man has bought me a dress to wear to the party that he saw and he thought would look good on me and it's really cute it's like a knit material and it's like a navy blue and it's like a long dress or a midi dress kind of with a slit up the leg and it comes with like a little matching cardi so cute and i just thought that was really nice and really thoughtful of him Sour cream will literally not come out of this. It's gone all over my hands. Nice. I'll show you what the fajitas, I guess, look like once I'm done with them. I always feel like they look way messier when you make them than they do on the recipes, but as long as it tastes good, who cares, right? I just suggested to David that because it's halfway to Vlogmas, we have a little party to celebrate. By party, I mean he makes us a cocktail while I finish cooking. But I'm gonna pass you over to David and he's gonna make me a winter Moscow mule and he's gonna make himself an old fashioned, I think. So I'll see you when I've got a drink in my hand to celebrate us being halfway done with Vlogmas. All right, good evening, everybody. I have the camera pointed down because I wanna show you the, make, the drinks that I'm going to be making. So Charlie said, um, I'm gonna make her a, a Moscow mule with a little bit of a holiday twist, quote unquote, uh, <laughs> her words. I'm literally just adding a splash of cranberry to make it holiday, so <laughs> if that's what makes it holiday, then cheers. Let me go get some ice, I'll be right back. All right, so Moscow mules typically have vodka and ginger beer with lime, so we'll be adding some cranberry juice. I never really like to measure. I always pour from the heart. Apologies, everybody. Um, I realized that I had the bottle of vodka in front, of, or the bottle of ginger beer in front of the 
in front of the cup, so you weren't able really to see me pouring in the vodka. But as I was saying before, I'd like to pour from the heart. I never usually re really measure. If I can toot my own horn, I can say I'm a pretty good bartender in addition to cook, so kind of jack of all trades. The ginger beer that we have here today is Fever Tree, definitely one of our more uh, favorite ginger beers. We really enjoy it, and it, uh, it has a very nice, refreshing taste to it. So let's go ahead and add some of this to Charlie's drink. A little, couple splashes of cranberry juice, or <laughs> lime juice, and then a splash to of cranberry juice. Here we are, cheers. Let me go ahead and mix this up for Charlie and then I'll make my old fashioned. My choice of drink recently has been an old fashioned. So if you're not familiar of what's in an old fashioned, it's typically a bourbon or whiskey and then has simple syrup and uh, bitters. Uh, I have orange bitters to give it a little more of a uh, orangey taste and then typically a orange peel is put in the drink as well. You have this amazing mold of the Death Star ice mold. So I'm not sure if you guys can really see it. But I'm gonna use that as my ice. And then this is a Stormtrooper. Love this. And we actually have another one um, in the alcohol cabinet that my uncle, aunt, and cousins gave us. And that has gin in it. So a dark side and light side stormtrooper. Adding a little bit of simple syrup now. Grab the bitters. Last but not least, that orange peel. Right, so got my peeler here. So let's get a nice little orange peel for our drink. Use the peel and put it around the rim. Give it a nice little taste. So I'll use the orange peel to mix everything up. Throw the orange peel in there. And now I have my old fashioned. I'm sorry, but I have to say that cooking with chicken literally makes me want to does anybody else relate to that? Like the touch of it and the no raw chicken, absolutely worst nightmare. Oh, I have to cover up my straw because it's rude. <laughs> All right. Cheers, Cheers to everyone. To Vlogmas. And as a reminder, if you are in the UK, please do not drink unless if you are 18, and if you're in the US, 21. Cheers, everybody. Cheers. Oh, that's delicious. This is my chicken, obviously, and it's about to come off the pan. I also have a phobia when I cook chicken that it's not cooked all the way through, and I literally will cut all the pieces open. Anyway, it just called for a Southwest seasoning blend, but I also seasoned it with a lemon pepper, as well as salt and pepper. So we've got like a lemon pepper Southwest chicken. They're actually fajitas, I think I said tacos, but yeah. These are David's ones. I'm gonna plate mine up now and then obviously you just grab them like this, but yeah, there they are. So a good idea that I thought of for Christmas time was to write down a lot of different Christmas movies, put them in a little jar. This is actually the cutest cookie jar ever that someone got us for a housewarming all these little mickeys and the lid is a mickey as well i have yet to use it for cookies but i have used it as the jar for all of these pieces of paper with christmas movie names on it so last night we drew the first one david it was david's turn so he drew the first one and it was miracle on 34th street but the one with mara wilson aka matilda but today it's my turn to draw it. I just thought it was a really fun way to do it because then you can put all your favorite Christmas movies in there, but you don't have to have the pressure of like, oh, which one should we watch tonight? I'm gonna draw it now while you're still here. And we do have in there Home Alone and Home Alone 2. So if I draw Home Alone 2, or if either of us draw Home Alone 2, it means we're gonna watch number one. Are you ready? Home Alone 2. <laughs> 
<laughs> I literally just spoke that into existence. Okay, so what that actually means is Home Alone is what we're gonna watch tonight. And then when we pull out Home Alone, it will be Home Alone too. So David, the lovely man that he is, is gonna go to the petrol station next door to get me some milk so I can have a cup of tea because the milk went sour and it smelled really bad. Drive safe. Thanks. I'll find out what platform you can watch Home Alone on. I think it's on Netflix. Is it? He thinks it's on Netflix, so. But yeah, I just thought that was a really nice way to decide what you wanna watch. And you could do that at any time. It doesn't have to be Christmas, it's just, Obviously with Christmas, there's a lot less movies to choose from. I also don't know if I've shown this before in a vlog, but I wanted to show you my, or our record player stand. My cousin made this. So she built the stand and not only did she do that, but she does wood burning and she burnt this into the side of it. One single thread of gold tied me to you with our initials and the thread of gold. And that's a Taylor Swift lyric absolutely love this this is one of my favorite things that we have in our house and then i just stuck this like cranberry decoration thing on it for christmas but possibly my favorite thing is whatever record that you're listening to you stand the record on the side here so then you can like visibly see what album you're playing on the record player. And I just thought that was really cool. I also updated the TV stand. I know when I showed you the Christmas decorations last time, this did not look like this. Uh, but David's mum kindly gave us this little village. So I put this out and then David got me Chip and Dale for Christmas, but I accidentally found them in the wardrobe. So I got to have them early. So Netflix did not have Home Alone, but Disney Plus had Home Alone. So I guess that makes sense. But yeah, we have it ready. Can't believe it was in 1990. That was seven years before I was born. <laughs> we'll put the Christmas tree lights on. There we go. And now we're ready for our movie night. Also, David just got back from buying me some milk. So I'm gonna make a cup of tea. We are going to do our advents and then we're gonna end the vlog. I'm really sorry that today has not had like any content but tomorrow David and I are doing something really exciting we're going to a DVC moonlight after hours event at Animal Kingdom we're really excited one of my followers kindly invited David and I to go with him tomorrow night so we are meeting at Animal Kingdom and going to this DVC members only night tomorrow should be a good one okay what day are we on 12? 12 12, because we're halfway there. Oh, we're halfway there. We've got a snowman. That's gorgeous. Thank you. Snowman. Give me that. Give me that. Cheers. 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 No, you've got knowledge. Yeah. Hey, Brady. And that is all for today's vlog. Thank you so much for watching, even though I literally did not leave the house or do anything today. Still, thanks for being here. We will see you tomorrow for the next one. Ta-ta for now. <laughs>